our guy right here, the Amarillo Symphony. Uh, listen, I got to see some stuff with you, oh, and good. you're pretty awesome. Yeah, good. You're the real deal. Thank you. I just want <laughs> you to know, I didn't think you weren't, but I was like, I mean, really, I, I'm excited. The Amarillo Symphony. Um, let's talk about what's coming up tonight yeah. and tomorrow. That's right. Brahms and bluegrass. Yeah, that's right. So we're combining much more classical repertoire, Brahms, also Samuel Barber, the American composer, and we're putting it with a bluegrass set, which is almost the, I think it's the first time that kind of combination's Ooh. happened. We have an amazing soprano, Sarah Hershkowitz, who's joining us from California. Uh, she's a soprano that I've known for a long time. I met her originally in Europe when she was working in Germany and in Scotland. And uh, she's one of the best classical sopranos kind of on the circuit. Oh, but she also moonlights as a bluegrass singer and songwriter. So we convinced her to bring her band. So for the first time at Globe News Center, we basically have a bluegrass set oh in combination gosh. with our regular concert. So it's something new. It's That's going to be, new. listen, people have been talking about this. Good. Uh, and they really are, are wanting to see. I didn't realize two nights. That makes me feel a lot better because I thought, oh, we're just going to, if, if we can't go Saturday, but tonight and yep. Saturday. Tonight, Saturday, and, you know, AmarilloSymphony.org, you can get tickets. We have some tickets left. Okay. So if you're into bluegrass, this is quite a unique op opportunity, I think, to see something. What, what, whenever, I mean, that is, it doesn't matter if it's bluegrass or, or banjo or mm -hmm. guitar or, yeah. or, I mean, I mean, it's music and the yeah. way that it comes out is, I mean, that's the whole thing, how you interpret it. Don't it's, you? Well, well, it's live music. Yeah. You know, the point is what, as a symphony, what we offer is, you know, real human beings on a stage playing instruments to, to real human beings in the audience, you know, so bluegrass is the same in that sense, you know, I we're just it. trying to make it a live experience for people. Oh, well, wow. it's going to be so good. Um, we want to get tickets. We want you to get tickets. Uh, and Sarah, I mean, we've got yeah. we've got to see her yeah. uh, do her thing. She's fantastic. Yeah. I really would try to get tickets this morning. I'd go for it. Yeah. Yeah. Because yeah. we don't want you to miss it. Well, also, I think it's the first time that we've had that kind of experience at the Globe News Center. Yeah. You know, often big touring artists go to the Civic Center. Right. And so there's an intimate environment at Globe News, which I think is, is quite a unique experience. So. And it's so yeah. beautiful. Yeah, and it's a beautiful place. I love it because I feel like that's your office. It is. Yeah, <laughs> it's our home. We rehearse in yeah, there. Yeah. You know, and, and especially when, when we find people in the community who've never been, maybe they drive past it <laughs> you yeah. know, every, every week or something. Uh, you know, it's it's Amarillo's. You know, there's a sense of community. It's it's the concert hall of this of this incredible place. Tell us what's coming up. If you if you aren't able to come this weekend, we want you to. But there there's something pretty pretty fun yeah. that I'm looking forward to. Well, we're getting into the holiday season now, so yeah. we have the uh, happy holiday pops, um, and we also have our Nutcracker as well, um, All the right. Star Ballet, which is exciting. So we're kind of this is almost the last normal scheduling. You sure. know, it's our last normal masterworks. I mean, there's nothing normal about combining <laughs> bronze and blue dots. Um, but then we hit the holidays from next week and we get into uh, mid-December uh, with Nutcracker and Happy Holiday Pop. So we're excited to be kind of celebrating I that. I can't wait. Yeah. I really can't. Good. Um, I'm so glad that mm -hmm. you came back because I, I was hoping to visit with you. This is one that get your tickets. There are, are really, really good priced. And again, uh, we can go to Panhandle Tickets? Yeah, Panhandle Tickets or via our website as well, okay. AmarilloSymphony.org. Okay. Yeah. Are there any chances uh, coming up maybe to, to get to visit with y'all or maybe a, a before or after concert? Or is there, I really want y'all to have something where people can Yeah, we have a, lo a lunch and listening. Um, okay. It's kind of a, it, it's basically a, a, almost a pre-concert talk, but it's very informal. You get a sandwich. We spend about 45 minutes talking about the concert. Okay. So that's actually today, uh, okay. midday. But every time we have a concert, so from January onwards, midday on the Friday of a concert weekend, um, you can come and join us at the Globe News Center. You okay. get to sit on stage oh, good. In, in the orchestra. You know, So we actually yes. go on stage um, and we talk about the concert. We interview the guest artists. We talk about what's coming up. And so it's a very good way of kind of getting rid of the fourth wall between the audience and the orchestra. So it's. Uh, you know, there's a lot of opportunity like that. So it's not just coming to a concert and listening to what we do. George, I love it. Yeah. I love it. I lo Listen, I love your style in the, in the Amarillo Symphony. So uh, thanks for coming. Thank you very they, much. Listen, I know rehearsing late and getting up early, so we appreciate you. Part of the